The sound of screeching tires fills a warehouse as go-karts race around a track. But these aren't the go-karts you're used to squeezing in between your rounds of putt-putt golf and the batting cages. Um, indoor karting is all over the place in Europe and it's just picking up in this country right now. People at first, they come here they're a little skeptical because the only kind of go-karting they're used to is you know, the family fun park type cars. And they see ours and it's so much faster, so much more intense of a track, you know, they're in shock. You know, the usual heat is eight minutes long, but after eight minutes you're tired, you're shaking, you're sweating, you're full of adrenaline because it's so intense, you're going so fast, and you're so low to the ground, it feels like you're going 100 miles an hour. It's like I said, it's a different feeling. It's as close to real racing as you can get. But they're still just go-karts, right? I mean, I wasn't really buying it. How fast can these little things really get you going? You know, my lawnmower at home also has six and a half horses. So we'll see if this is any more exciting than landscaping. It's a, uh, it's a Grand Prix style course. It has a 90 degree turn, double apex turns, we have a fairly large sweeping turn and we have a chicane, so it's kind of got all the elements of a, of a real Grand Prix course within the confines of a 50,000 square foot facility encompassing about a third of a mile from the track. So uh, we pack it all in here and it's tight and it's fast and uh, we love it. At this point, the track was pretty much kicking my butt. Everything that Adam described was happening, the sweating, the shaking, the fatigue, and worst of all, getting my doors blown off by number six. Instead of rushing right out to the track, I should have taken my time in the briefing room and gotten some tips from Phil. Turn, turn one, the most unforgiving turn. The chicane is the most difficult turn. If you learn the chicane and get a real good drive out of the chicane, this is where you'll make up all your lap time. You also don't want to get obsessed with beating your buddies out there. It's about the best lap time, and a small transponder in your go-kart is sending all your race information to Rush Hour's computers. Every single lap is time, and you get a printout when you're done racing. It shows you how you did every single lap, what your fastest lap was, what your average was, how you compare with the other drivers for the day, the week, the month, and so forth. I've been racing go-karts professionally for about 12 years. First time here? Yeah, there, there's actually one up north where I used to live in Connecticut, oh, okay. but this one's much better. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. Uh, track's a lot bigger, a lot more, lot longer, uh, turns are better. The computers will also update your position and times as you race for those watching to keep track of your progress. If you want to take time to look up, you can also see your times projected over the track while you race. Between heats, you can refuel at Green Shields restaurant right next to the track. You can check in on all the big games, but hold off on the beer till you're done racing for the night. And if you're like most first timers, one heat won't be enough. Well, now nah, we're gonna go back and try it one more time, I guess. Yeah. yeah. What happened? I can't let him beat me. <laughs> For North Carolina Weekend, I'm John Bolenbacher.